How will the consumer sector fare as healthcare costs, interest rates, and the age of its buyers are on the rise? We'll find out in this segment of Credit Matters TV. I'm Olaf Adansi with the Corporate Ratings Practice, and here to discuss this issue is Mike Skirbo, uh, the head of our consumer retail and healthcare segment. Hi, Ola. Hi, how are you, Mike? I'm well, thanks. So the first question I have for you is about consumer spending trends in 2014. What are we looking at? Yeah, let, let's look bigger picture uh, for a second. Despite the government slowdown, shutdown, and uncertainty with the fiscal negotiation that, that, that occurred recently, we still, we still expect consumer spending to increase approximately 2% in 2013, and we think that will accelerate a bit to the 2.5% range in 2014. However, we think there's, there's a bifurcation there. The big ticket items, uh, so the consumer uh, purchasing big ticket items, um, desiring big ticket items, has, has performed well, and we expect it to continue to perform well as income levels uh, at, at the upper end continue to, to, to grow. The smaller ticket discretionary items is where we think the bifurcation occurs. That has not performed as well. The unemployment rate, while overall has come down, is higher at the lower income level. It's impacting the smaller ticket discretionary purchases. We think tapering will occur. Mm -hmm. That's factored into our expectation. We do think it'll be modest. So 2% two, 2 consumer spending growth in 13, 2.5% in 14. What happens with the fiscal negotiations that we're going to revisit in, in the first quarter could impact uh, that number, but that, that's our current uh, forecast. All right. So what's the outlook for, for ratings then, um, in the sector in 2014? So let's look at the, the when, we, when we think about the piece we just wrote, we, we're looking at six consumer-related sectors, media and entertainment, leisure and, spo leisure and sports, mm -hmm. home building, autos, retailers and suppliers, consumer products, and retail. Currently, at the end of September at least, these, these six sectors had about 17% negative outlooks. When you, when you look back in 2009, these six sectors had slightly over 50% negative outlooks. So right now we think, obviously, that, that, uh, that, that trend that, that's occurred from the, from the improvement in the economy over the past several years, we think overall that's, it, it's relatively stable credit outlook in 14 for these six combined. However, currently media and entertainment is, does have the highest percentage of negative outlooks. It has slightly over 20%, so we see some. Pro we could see some uh, negative pressure, negative ratings pressure there. That's due to the proliferation of electronic media across a lot of the media and entertainment spaces, publishing, et cetera. But overall, relatively stable credit outlook. Okay, interesting. So we've talked about some of the macroeconomic issues. What are the specific age-related factors that might be um, eroding credit quality? In that yeah, there, there's several. It's a great question. There's several that we've identified. The first is is healthcare costs. They continue to increase. The the consumer, the employee, is having to garner more of the monthly share as as mm -hmm. as uh, organizations reduce their contribution and premiums continue to go up. So increasing healthcare costs. Will likely is is one factor that will lead to you know, weakened disposable income. The second would be uh, the possible government cut cutbacks in Medicare uh, and Social Security, and the third would be tax increases that could occur sure. in, in in the in the similar in the, in the similar segments. We also think household income growth uh, could slow as well as baby boomers uh, retire. Sure. The, the percentage of them in the workforce uh, comes down. So quite a few headwinds when we think about that. So how do these aging-related factors impact ratings in the medium to long term then after 2014? Yeah, they'll, they'll, they'll put, we expect they will, they will start to crimp, so to speak, uh, disposable uh, income. Mm -hmm. And when they start to crimp disposable income, obviously there's less to spend on other, whether it be big ticket items, whether it be smaller ticket discretionary items. We think as we look out, companies rated companies in some of these consumer related sectors on the lower end of the rating scale where liquidity is important etc could start to see uh, more negative uh, credit quality uh, trends over time but as and we don't think we, we don't think um, income levels will rise at the same level as some of these costs are hence the disposable income will come down so thanks for joining us mike Thanks for having me, Ola. All right. Well, our full commentary on the sector is available on our global credit portal at globalcreditportal.com. Thanks for joining us for this segment, and we'll see you next time.